What's up guys, welcome to our video and today we are Devin Butler So we have to buy in GP And Yeah, so we are going to control Devin Butler. Let's get right into it Before we get underway here at the Bahrain International Circuit Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and it could be a strategic race this one with Sakia notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Russell, Perez, Hamilton, Sainz, Stroll, Ocon, Norris, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Jackson, Gasly, Sonoda, Butler, Bottas, Sergeant, Joe, Magnussen, De Vries, Magnussen. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? 2023 Bahrain. We're about to get going and I hope you've enjoyed the build-up just as much as we have. The teams are ready on the grid. They're ready in the garages too, but in the commentary box alongside me, are you ready, Ant? Of course I'm ready, Crofty. New season, new challenges for all of them out there, drivers and teams. I love this part of the year, Crofty. This is where it really kicks off and you get to showcase all that hard work you've done through the winter months. Does it pay off? Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? What does the 2023 season have in store for us? We're about to find out. OK, Devon, it's a brand new season. You know that. So let's start it as we mean to go on, OK? OK? Let's get out there, come on. Uh, and we are Devin Butler in Bahrain. We're starting with P16. Our objective is to finish in the top five. And our bonus is to finish in the top three with the fastest lap. Here we go. It slides out. And the race is underway in Bahrain. We get past Piastri. Not Piastri, Gasly of the back. But can we overtake Piastri also? As we go down the inside, break early. Barely any contact there. We're in P7. A bit of contact with Stroll. But can we go over to the inside and get past Hamilton? We're in P5 already. That was also a little bit of contact, but you can't really do anything. If it lets you, you have overtaken. So, that's good for us. Now, I want to win this race. With, the, not with, for Devin Butler. Anyways. We are trying to gain on Perez and we are one second behind, totally left for this race and we need to also get a good strategy in order to win this race now i didn't do qualifying it just did qualifying alone so i want to know what that is exactly and max verstappen is still leading this grand prix leclerc and alonso are fighting for p2 who is going to stay ahead they're wheel to wheel Charles Leclerc and Fernando Alonso. This gives space for Perez and me to come right behind them. Now I use ERS. Maybe get past Perez. Perez puts me around and sends me a bit. But I saved that. Now 
I need to gain an Alonso. Can we make the overtake? We can't, but in this straight, we're going to use all the ERS to get past Alonso. Maybe to go around the outside. And we are ahead. So guys, by the way, about the FIFA player career mode, that has like finished because I'm not going to do any more videos on that. Now I'm going to do a lot of videos on Fall Guys trying to get the Golden Witch and on this F1 career and breaking point which I am doing right now. Uh, tell me also guys how you feel about this game if you like it like the F1 game if you like it like this video I guess now we are trying to gain on Charles Leclerc we have no DRS but we try with our best to gain and have DRS in that second straight so I want to box in lap 7 or 8 now we have spun a bit but I'm going to use DRS to gain on Leclerc make the good corner so we can gain on him because I want to win this race and in order to do that we need a good strategy a good pit stop and yeah obviously good racing and uh, good turn but we are spinning a bit but can we gain on the clerk good turn there and we gain a bit of time and the clerk is just a second and a tenth ahead I have no DRS for this turn but I will probably have DRS for the turn after that. And as we are gaining on Charles Leclerc, we could maybe overtake him with DRS. And Charles Leclerc is also going to have DRS. But I gain time a lot on him now if we can do this part cleanly we can maybe overtake him in the next DRS zone and in order to do that I'm going to save my ERS for a little bit so we can have DRS plus ERS and that is very fast I'm gaining on Leclerc gaining gaining and what was that in the middle of just ahead of me there was something anyways Still, Leclerc is a second ahead. And I will probably have DRS for the next turn. Leclerc... I don't know with the strategy. I don't like it. I'd rather box lap 7 or 8. 
I'm not going to box. I'm, not, I'm boxing lap seven or eight. Anyways, I'm trying to gain on Leclerc because Verstappen is holding him a little. Leclerc is faster than Verstappen in the meantime. So, this could be good for me if Verstappen holds him up. And I'm going to use the ERS I can use to maybe gain the time I need on Leclerc. And I spin a little. Verstappen is still holding Leclerc behind him. Can I win because of that? The gap behind is four seconds. Now Verstappen has the quicker tires, so we might be way quicker than him. And now Leclerc has boxed. And I'm going to use this in advantage to try to gain on Vax Verstappen, who is not very fast right now. And I'm boxing. I prefer boxing this lap than the lap before, because the mediums are not really done with tire wear. Even though Leclerc could have a better tire temperature, till the end of the, like the last two or three laps, Charles Leclerc's tires are probably going to be done for. So this could be good for me. Now we are going to box. And... Verstappen, I think, has some kind of problem. And to get out of the pit, right behind Max. No. And I drive down the inside of Max Verstappen. Leclerc is not close, it's behind Stroll. So technically, I'm leading this Grand Prix. That is very good of a strategy. I knew that would work well. And Mark told me to box in lap six. I didn't listen to him, and that worked out as a very good strategy. So I think Perez is going to be behind me. Let's go. Now I'm going to use the ERS I can to get past and I'm ahead of Hamilton and Perez. Let's go. I'm leading this Grand Prix. I wonder where Aiden is. Let's check that. I wanted to see where he is. I guess I have to check on race director. He's in P14. So he's doing not a bad job. And Winning this Bahrain Grand Prix is actually very nice because I think the color sport will be very happy and I think the Aiden Jackson might think that we've got a good car and he stay. I hope. Anyways. So, yeah, are we going to win this Grand Prix? 
Come on, let's go. Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc fighting. Who's going to be ahead? Is Charles Leclerc? Charles Leclerc is ahead of Max Verstappen. Now I'm seeing this in the bottom left. Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen are fighting it hard. Max Verstappen is ahead of the Ferrari now. Uh, even though Charles Leclerc has faster tires, Max Verstappen has a faster car, has the fresher tires, only by one lap, but it's different. Charles Leclerc is getting held up by Verstappen. Even though the Ferrari is faster, Max Verstappen is putting up a very good fight. And this could mean Checo Perez or Hamilton could sneak up into the podium. And I could win the race with a very big gap. So this that's working out well for me. I mean look at the tires. The new F123 and they make the tires much more realistic. If you go in the gravel, it like puts gravel on the tires. It's very realistic. But anyway, Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc are still fighting it out. Who knows what's going to happen? And this is going to be the final lap of this race. Come on, let's win it. And now we're in the final corner. And Charles Leclerc right now is getting very slow. As I said, he would do that. But anyways, as we turn, and Devin Butler wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. Woo! I can't imagine how happy Connor Sport are. Well, I think we have to look at Connor Sport. And for me, they've been the biggest surprise so far. And Butler, he's doing fantastically well. The thing is, though, they've got to sustain that over the course of the whole season, and that is easier said than done. Certainly one Kasper Ackerman will be hoping that this season is better than his last. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. What a start to the season, Devon. You must be happy with that performance. You know, sometimes I wonder if anyone's been paying attention. You know, I, I've always been fast. <laughs> Everyone saw the problems we had with the car last season. Everyone saw that. Now this season, I get to drive a car that works, and surprise, surprise, I smash it. It's not rocket science. Well, you've had your share of run-ins in the past with teammate Aidan Jackson. Crucial question is, is that behind you? How do you feel about him right now? Ah, listen, Aidan is the greatest F1 driver of all time. You ask him, he'll tell you. What, you, you think I've got an attitude problem? Aidan has got stealth ego, let me tell you. You, you don't know it's there and then it emerges. He's, uh, well, he's, he's a handful. Uh, trust me. Well, Connor Sport surprised everyone by appointing Casper Ackerman as team principal this season. So how do you feel about taking oh. orders from someone that you've got such a history with? I think he's going to do a terrific job, you know? Uh, mainly because he's got me on his team, so uh, he can't go too far wrong. Now, I'm sure he's incredibly thankful to have me as a driver. 
Well, you're embarking on a new year, but what would a successful season look like for you in 2023? I'm making it my personal mission to make a success of Connor Sport. And by the end of the season, you're all going to be saying what a wonderful team we are and how great a season we've had. And if you're doing that, then I'll consider it a job well done. Well, thank you for chatting with us. Great to have your time. Great race out there today, just in the highlights. Listen, I know we've had our run-ins and, well, last season was last season. Fresh start for the team. What do you say? Oh, Jackson. Cheers, mate. Bin's over there. Yeah. Nice one. How about the season just gone? The 2023 season was completely different for Connor Sport. How so? But, uh, the car, for one. We'd ironed out the most critical issues and it was just starting to live up to its potential. Can we talk about what happened with Devon? Yeah, what is it? Now that's how a butler takes care of business. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Carrying the team, Devon, as well as the butler name. I couldn't be happier. Yeah, yeah, went well. Well? <laughs> I can't wait to hear what those clowns Ackerman and Connor have to say. Yeah. Hmm? Huh? You okay, Devon? What? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, uh... Just adrenaline, Dad. I just, I really pushed it out there today, you know. I just need to simmer down a bit. Of course you do. Let's talk later. I'll be in meetings, but uh, call me whenever you like. I'm proud of you, son. Let's just make sure today's result isn't just a one-off. Eh? Yeah. All right, all right. Ciao. Okay, so we're going to Australian Grand Prix. Now, I am still Devin, Devin Butler. Um, I go to the race. We're going to be mid-race. I don't know what happened in Jeddah, by the way. Just get me to the Australian Grand Prix. Here comes Butler, good pace here down the straight. Into the corner we go, that's a little too late. And he nearly goes off the track on the exit. And is that a lapse in concentration? I think just a little bit of desperate driving there, Crofty. He's pushing way too hard. I mean, there's nobody else around him at this stage. Okay, Devon, we're gonna have to ease off from the brakes. Mm -hmm. Brakes don't feel right. Okay, we'll have a look at it, but you're gonna see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? We've asked you to take it easy on the last lap, but pushing has made the issue even worse. So we're just going to have to live with it for now. What are you talking about? Listen, just do what you can, please, Devon. Come on. Now we're in lap 14 and Aiden Jackson came into P10. Um, I'm trying to stay ahead, but for now we are getting three points for the team. And uh, right now I'm thinking 
No, 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 Aiden Jackson is trying to overtake me. Right now, I'm thinking what could have happened in Jeddah and what just happened to Carlos Sainz? Zoe overbook him. Anyways, come on. P9. By the way, that gap between me and uh, Stroll has went up like 10 seconds right now. So, um, yeah, that's because of the problems I had. And Max Verstappen wins the Grand Prix for Red Bull. Now, Charles Leclerc goes in second. There's a Mercedes in P3. Uh, another Mercedes in P4, I think. But Joe Guan Yu gets past Agent Jackson. They're fighting for points. Who is going to be in the points? Will it be Aiden Jackson? Or will it be Joe Guan Yu? And they are fighting for their lives. And Aiden Jackson is ahead. I get the checkered flag. That's P9. An okay race. Day in Hungary last season, you said it was a comms issue, but Connor Sport claimed they didn't know what that issue was. So, are they hiding something? What's really going on here? Look, anything I say is going to be taken out of context. So I'd rather not fuel that kind of speculation. I'll debrief the team and we'll figure out how we can stop it happening again. That's that's all there is to it. Devon, you finished the race with a compromised car today. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was tough, tough out there. I mean, uh, I love this track. You know, I know I can do well here and it's frustrating to deal with anything that slows me down. You know, I didn't like it and the team didn't like it. Now, some have been saying that you do get preferential treatment because your father funds the team. What do you say to those allegations? Listen, wherever I go, whatever I'm doing, I'm always going to try and get preferential treatment. Preferential treatment is brilliant. I thoroughly recommend it. Okay? Sometimes it's difficult to come by. Sometimes it's easy. That's life. So how do you expect Connor Sport to perform this season based on your performance so far? They got me, haven't they? So, uh, yeah, I expect us to do pretty well. If they can sort out the car this time around, I'll get them all the points their little hearts desire. Thank you so much for your time. Could you take a look at this, please? You nip this in the bud, Cass. Do you hear me? Andreo? Butler, what was that out there today? I will not have a return to last season. We are a team. He cannot be allowed to do just what he wants. Look, just calm down. I have it under control. Well, this is Devon we're talking about. There is no control. He nearly lost the car, Casper. But he didn't. You know what it gets like out there. I'm sure there's an explanation. Or an excuse. And we'll find out. I'll be raising it at the debrief, okay? So I'll report back to you. Uh, okay, um... Hang on. Look, I've got to go. I've got David off on the other line. <laughs> of course you have. Enjoy. Well, it's a... Well, it's a big deal when one of your drivers decides to do their own thing. So I called him out on it at the next team meeting. And what was Devon's reaction? Well, he denied the whole thing. You know, blamed it on a comms fail. Which I thought was strange. 
The same thing happened the year before when I was principal, and he gave the exact same excuse. Right, I'll cut uh, right to the chase, Devon. Tell me what's happening. What are you talking about? Well, it's not just disregarding team orders. Paddock talks. People are saying you've been distracted, that you're ignoring them completely. <laughs> now, my job is to make sure the team works smoothly, like clockwork, so I'm just trying to work out what's going on. I told you, check the comms. Yeah, the comms are fine, Devon. We checked. What's going on? Nothing. Just cut that out. Show me some respect now. I heard the order. All right? You happy? Why ignore it? I'm feeling it, Cass. The pressure, paddock gossip these last couple of months. Oh, come on. You're Devon Butler. You are the paddock gossip. <laughs> You've heard what they're saying, right? You've seen what they're writing. Driving on daddy's money. It's, uh, it's making me second guess myself. Okay. We can work through that. Start changing the, the team narrative. Absolutely. But in the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. No, no, Cass, Cass. Look, I, I've got a race to prep for, okay? I need my head in the game. I'm fine. I get that. That's fine. But I want you to see them straight after the race. Understood? Yeah, fine. So I'll see you guys later for another episode of Breaking Point. And uh, yeah, bye.